Hi, uh, welcome back to the Count of Ten podcast. Um, this one's a, a day late uh, and a dollar short. I'm kind of doing it in the moment. Um, and this one in particular podcast is going to be for my um, co-workers uh, who I see um, work tirelessly every single day. <clears throat> um, in the hopes of making uh, kids successful. As a teacher, we definitely have this, uh, well, I should say, I feel this uh, uh, layer of, I'd say pressure, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but a layer of um, hope and a layer of uh, necessary progress and, you know, those kind of all joined together with the pressure of, um, you know, students being successful and us keeping ourselves grounded as we do it. And I think that sometimes we just get caught up into the day and day activities of what it is to be a teacher and um, some of those pressures and stressors that I mentioned. And we forget to take care of ourselves Um, one of the reasons why I hadn't had a podcast ready to go yesterday with my Friday note that I sent to, um, my coworkers was that I was feeling pretty burned out. Last week was a pretty tough week, uh, high stress and high stress because it's, it's, uh, high consequences, you know, being a behavior teacher is one thing, um, and trying to help students kind of understand their path in the world and trying to, you know, learn how to emotionally regulate themselves better and, you know, find their path. You know, there's still people who are trying to figure things out. They just have this extra thing they're, they're, uh, they're working on. Um, but I often say as a, to my general education co-workers, um, I don't know what the, it's like to have the pressure of 25 human beings in my class that I'm um, teaching to and, uh, trying different ways to, um, connect with them, uh, trying different ways to integrate your teaching with, um, emotional understanding, uh, social interactions. Um, you, you take, you name it. There's, there's so many things going on. Uh, I have a handful of kids that I work with. Um, and, all of you work with those kids every day as well, as well as your other students in your in your classrooms. And uh, the added pressure of, I am the one person in this year of their life that needs to give them everything they need to be successful. Um, and it's a big picture thing. You know, how are they gonna be in society? Are they going to have all the things that they need, all the tools, all the ideas, all the different ways of thinking, all the different approaches to things, math, uh, social studies, reading, writing. I mean, it's when I start to try to stop and conceptualize what it is to be um, a teacher, um, and I do take myself out of that a little bit because I do think that the practice of being a teacher, a general education teacher in today's society is absolutely pressure filled and we're lucky that we have wonderful relationships with other teachers around us and we can you know blow off steam and have good conversations Um, we have great coaches that help us through tough moments or tough situations but the day and day pressures of being a teacher um, and I know there's lots of naysayers out there you know we get a nice chunk of time off in the summers and you know we're done every day by 3 30 4 o'clock even though I know a lot of people who go see a lot like a lot later than that um and that sounds like a kind of a nice a nice gig um and it is a nice gig time wise but those months that we have these human beings in our care um I think people don't really understand that we take our jobs pretty seriously. And if we're not seeing kids get things, if we see 
um, issues coming up with students if we're struggling with social things in class, um, you know, external pressures from outside school. Um, and I know I'm kind of bouncing around a lot here, but I just think it's really important. And I'm speaking directly to the people that I work with every day. I think it's extremely important that you know how important you are, that you know how appreciative people are of you and what you do every day. And take that for what it's worth. Know that people appreciate you. Know that what you do is important. Um, find ways to recognize when things are really hard and give it its it's time, recognize it when it's happening, and then find ways to kind of, to let it move on, because, and that could probably be good for every, everything in our lives. But as a teacher, I think that it's really important that because you have such an absolutely important, you know, important job to do, um, what you do day in and day out is tremendous. It is tremendous work. You are shaping and you are guiding human beings and I, again, think that we all get into our day-to-day -day doldrums, you know? It's the next chapter to learn in social studies. It's the next, you know, math pages to do in math and the next, you know, instruction on fractions. And, you know, some people think like, ah, oh, that, that doesn't sound too hard. And that's, uh, um, <laughs> uh, doesn't sound like a really hard task to kind of pull off, but... I'm just telling you how much I appreciate what you guys do every day and I watch you teach and I watch you struggle and I watch you um, just be tireless in your focus on student success and I am just blown away on a regular basis by it. So as a coworker of yours, I am so appreciative and you guys hear it from me all the time. I'm always telling you that to your faces. I'm always telling you that in my notes on Fridays that um, you're just tremendous people, tremendous human beings who are doing a very hard job um, in a society that doesn't always look kindly on teachers and um, are kind of given a hard time because of what perceived, I don't know, perceived uh, ease in what you do. I don't, I mean, anybody who wants to give a teacher a hard time or say that they're, uh, not, you know, that their job's, you know, not that hard, that they get lots of vacations and lots of time off and it really should be easy. Um, I'd like you to come into a classroom sometime. I'd like you to come into a classroom and just sit down and watch uh, an incredible teacher do their job because it is not easy and it is not uh, something that should be taken lightly or belittled. And I just really appreciate the people I work with every day. And I am sensing this like, ugh, uh, burden. And I don't know what that is. Um, I know what my pressures are day to day. Uh, and I can kind of grasp what your pressures are day to day. But um, I think sometimes it just kind of gets overwhelming, you know? And we need to find ways to make sure we're taking care of ourselves. So. All right, after blowing a little smoke, um, I just wanna say that I have found such a benefit from meditating that I feel like I would be, I don't know, not being honest with not sharing it with you that um, people talk about my calmness or my coolness in tough situations and things like that. I, uh, it's, it's, only because of my ability to be calm in moments and be able to take breaths in moments and be able to settle into a kind of meditative mindset when things are going wrong or things are getting pressured or things are getting violent or loud. Um, and that's really due to um, the mindfulness practices that I've been putting in place. So I now practice at least three times a day. If I can get in four, I'm really happy about it. But it's definitely three times a day. So morning, evening, and if I can fit it in, like during my lunch during the day, I'll do it. Um, 
but and they're only 10 minutes long they're not very long at all but it's a pretty amazing thing to drop into a meditative practice at school um, for 10 minutes and then stand up and feel like you just woke up in the morning and you're ready to rock and roll and uh, it's it's I wanted to share it because I've been promoting it and talking about it probably in nauseam with a lot of you and I just need you to know that I put it into practice every single day there is not a day that goes by that I don't meditate at least once at the very least once I've been trying really hard to get to the, the three and four level but um, it's just it's self-care it's taking care of your mind uh, it's opened up some thinking for me about how to take care of myself better physically not there yet but um, I'm moving there and I can kind of feel the shift in my thinking and um, I just think it's something that would be really beneficial for everybody I mean if I had my way I would make it a practice and a part of every single school day for every single student and every single teacher that it becomes a practice for everyone because emotional regulation isn't just for a behavior kid emotional regulation can be for us and other students and I think it is a practice that only allows you to be able to handle the world we live in right now. So I just want to keep it short and simple. And I thought uh, you guys all put in the time uh, on my behalf. I like doing these podcasts because I feel like I'm putting in some time for you. And I feel like I'm getting to put my ideas out there about how to get through your day. Um, and it's not just for teachers, you know, again, it's for students and parents and anybody who watches these things, but, um, this society is tough. It is really tough. And, um, you know, and people hear me harp about social media all the time. And I use YouTube, uh, which is a social media company to get these ideas out there. But the more unplugging you can do, the better, but our society is geared the opposite way. Our society is geared that you need to be you need to be plugged in all the time. What are you going to miss out on? What are you not going to see? Uh, you know, are you not going to be a participant? And everybody else is. It's that old that old adage. But um, find time for yourself to unplug. And I was going to do this podcast in this little park here, but it's really cold and it's really windy, and I didn't think you'd be able to hear me. So I'm kind of doing it in my uh, in my car. But. Um, yeah, I'll just end this right now and just say uh, what the teachers do, what teachers do, not just the teachers I work with. I'm going to assume that what teachers do on a regular basis are what the teachers do in my class, in my, in my building. And that is work tirelessly for the benefit of other people. And um, can't make them enough for that kind of stuff. So I will be doing one more podcast this year. That will be, eh. It might be next week. Uh, well, it'll probably be next week because uh, we're going to be going on our winter break here pretty soon. So um, I'll probably do one next week and then call it quits until 2022. So um, thank you for giving me your time. And I think as I get better at this and as I begin to understand it better and kind of what I can do differently, I'm going to keep making adjustments, but I'm also not worrying about it very much and just letting it be what it is. And... Uh, as it moves forward, you know, even if just one person sees this and says, oh, yeah, I'll start downloading, I'll add, download that app and that'll be my New Year's resolution or something. That would make me feel good. So it's worth it for me. Um, have a wonderful uh, weekend and please don't hesitate to reach out. So my email is Simon, S-Y-M-O-N, period, Sanborn, S-A-N-B-O-R-N, at gmail.com. Please email me any ideas, thoughts. Uh, perspectives, ideas. I'm always down for more ideas. I hear one, I'm like, yes, I got it. I'm going to use that one. Uh, and even if it helps me or benefits me for a little bit, it's a tool that I'll use and I'll remember it. So um, please let me know what's going on out there. All right. Take care of yourselves.